Hi. Um, if you're seeing this, you're watching a replay. You're out where the camera's at. Okay, so just a second. Setting this up. And then we're going to open some boxes. Some scissors. Uh, huh. Okay, I got two boxes. I have a small box and I have a small and uh, like a medium sized box. I don't know which one. I don't know which what's actually in them. So let me see. Thinking I'm gonna watch this one. It's kind of heavy. Okay, I got this one. This one's about the same weight, but it's bigger. So let's open the small one first. Uh, again, it depends. Last time I opened one of these live, it was so tangled. I did not even finish it. It was it took me over an hour and I only got to maybe a third of it. So hopefully, let's pray to the tangled gods that that is not the case now. If you jump on, please say hello. Okay. It's coming out just in a big blob. Oh, you know, I didn't bring my pen. Hold on. I'll make it work. Okay. Oh, and there's no receipt in this box. So, oh, it has a thing on here. This is my jewelry grab bag, five pounds, five ounces. That's all it says. Um, I buy these at um, Goodwill, shop Goodwill. Dot, I think it's order com. I can never remember. And that's what it says. My camera's still recorded. I'll figure that out one day. Okay. So here's my box. Something brand new from Loft. Pretty excited to see that. I like brand new. Okay. I'm just going to pull some. Oh, there's a couple new things. Okay, well, I'm going to do this one. This first one is so so. It's Cookie Lee, brand new. Um, it says it was $10. Cookie Lee, I don't really sell by itself. Um, I will put it in a lot of new earrings. So that is a whim. That's okay. Um, this is a pretty um, little toggle necklace. It is Anne Klein. Um, incline. I don't, you won't get it probably on my um, camera. Maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, a little lion. Super cute. It's really heavy. Um, I'm gonna get about twenty bucks for that. Pretty exciting. I do well with her chunky looking necklaces, especially like the older. The older they are, the better. This is Charming Charlie's, so it's not worth anything to resell. But it's pretty. Um, I do. How do I say this? I am active in my buy nothing group and I, I give some of this jewelry away. I make craft lots. I have a little friend that does crafts for herself. I give them to her. So nothing goes wasted at all. Either I sell or I give away. And there's something stuck in, a, in this hinge. I'm just going to try to get it out. Oh, man. It's not that good. Well, I'm gonna have to get it out later. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, now there's this one. Okay. Oh, almost there, almost there. Okay, this one is, this is Ancline also. But this one is kind of a rough shape. I don't know if you'll see, but there's some severe wear. Mm, yeah, there's some wear on the tops of the crescent moons part. It is Ancline. Um, what are, uh, I may or may not list that. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna make this up. Um, this is a key chain? No, it's a bracelet. It's a charm dangle bracelet by Cookie Lee. So I'll put that in some lot. But I won't sell it individually. I have no idea what I paid for this. I'm assuming, well, I can look it up in a minute. Another Cookie Lee, and it's a stretchy bracelet. 
I might just do a cookie Lee. Um, lot. <laughs> I get a lot of it. Just do hers. Okay, so let me see if I can figure out what I paid for this lot. For y'all, since it didn't include it in the box, and I didn't know what it was. Okay, 5.5. Um, oh, I didn't pay hardly anything for this. Um, total shipping and everything. I got this one for $21.08. Um, that first and client will pay for that alone. Okay, this is awesome. It's all, all tangled up and I have to get it done, but it is brand new and it's bobble bar. I sell some of their pieces individually and sometimes I do um, a lot. But always bobble bar. Um, some of their pieces I can get up to about $35. It's not high, high, high. This is BCB Generations. Um, and it's one of those like sliding lariats. It moves up and down based on where you want it. And you can have this layered anywhere you want. That's good. Maybe $10. $10. Nothing crazy. But again, I only paid $21 for the whole lot. I don't normally get that kind of a good price on that website. I normally pay 50 ish. Um, okay, so this one, this is, I don't even know what this is. I think it's G, oh, I think it's, it's all tangled up. G or A K I? I'll have to research that one. You know what it is? Let me know. Hey, hon. And it's a cute. Um, multi-strand, two-strand bracelet. And I don't know who that is, so I'm not sure what I would sell that for. I'll have to look that up. Okay. It's got a kink in this one. Let's see. There it is. This is Charming Charlie's. So this will be in a donation pile. Don't do And they went out of business. That's crazy to me. Ours closed down here about, I don't know, six months ago. And it's still empty. There's nothing that even came in into it. This one's Charming Charlie's also. Well, maybe I'll do one big lot for Charming Charlie's. Another piece of Charming Charlie's. Um, I have no idea. Looks like a nurse pen. Oh, here's a here's a necklace. This is Kenneth Cole. Hi, cute. Let's see. Here's another one of those. AK, I don't know, that one's kind of cute too. I don't know this brand. Um, it's, it's like AKI, AKI, no idea. If you know that brand, let me know. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm not 100% sure. It is an earring here, let me get the earring out. Oh. Again, I bought these at the Goodwill, and it was $21 shipped. I have to remind myself that one sometimes when I have to this. Okay, this is, is made in the U.S. It's 925, and it does have a symbol underneath that, so it might be the mark maker symbol. I'll have to look it up, but it looks like kind of like a Celtic knot. That's a cute earring, but it is silver. Um, it's got a little mm, signature is like an F with something sticking out on the side. And this is just a cute little dangle earring. Cute. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Well, okay, so this big chunky one, no, this one is Charming Charlie's, so that's going to the side. I gotta figure out what this thing is. Okay, there's a I'll have to untangle it later. It's Steve Madden. And it's weird it has these things attached. Like, I don't know. But it's some kind of bib. Some kind of necklace bib. So I'll have to figure, untangle that later. But I might sell that. Steve Madden. Hi. If you're on, go ahead and say hello. Okay. I bought this lot at the um, good one. Okay. This is... This is a stretchy bracelet. 
It's cute, but not anything special. Um, the bracelet silver, it says Charter Club. And it does have a, this is weird. It has like a hinge on the back though. Charter Club is not anything special. I am very curious what that is. Oh, it looks like it had, was part of a set and it could have different tones in the bracelet. But we only have the one stone. Okay, come back to the side. Um, Charming Charlie's, Charming Charlie's. This is the Charming Charlie lot. Oh, I don't know this one. Lizzie James. Oh, I kind of like the clasps though. Lizzie James. Um, I have to look her up. Um, so if you're curious on what I do to look up, I pull up eBay because I sell primarily on eBay. And I look at what's listed and what has sold. What people list is not the value. It's what things have sold. So anybody can ask for anything. This is actually official Playboy. Official Playboy rhinestone bunny. It has a year on it. Just a second. 19. Maybe that's just the year it was copyrighted. Because it's 1953. I doubt this was made in 53. It feels very recent and low quality but it's still probably the style because it's the playboy um okay this is a multi-chain multi-strand charming charlie's definitely gonna have one big lot of sold of, sold of charming charlie's this is vera bradley that's cute a little oh that was upside down kind of maybe like little yellow daisies cute okay yeah, Bradley sells so so. Unless it's if it's new, it sells really good. Um, locked. This one's weird though. Is it broken? Mm, no, no. But it's like on a crochet back. Like that's weird. That's fabric. Mm, not my favorite piece by any means. I don't like when there's fabric or I don't know. It just feels sometimes like it's a little dirty. A little grimy. Okay, this one is Charming Charlie's too, so I'm not gonna even untangle that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this bracelet, let me show you, it has to be the most popular bracelet there is. I literally get this all the time, and they're normally brand new. This one is not brand new. This must have been in a giveaway. It's Victoria's Secrets. It's kind of cute, a little cuff. Oh, huh. Very um, Wonder Woman ish esque. Maybe I'll sell them at Halloween as Wonder Woman. Um, very kind of pointy. But I have, I think, like two or three of these already. Maybe I'll lot them together and some family will want all, or friends will want all matching. Brand new loft earrings. Those are cute. So. Um, Kenneth Cole watch. I sell, um, we, we sell watches, so um, we just put a new, it's not even powering on or anything. But um, my husband will put a new battery in that. Okay. White House Black Market. I do sell those. This looks like it'll be really cute for prom. And prom's coming up. But some of these little black dress or, or pink dress. Charming Charlie's. No. Nope, nope. Okay. Is this another one of those Lizzie James? Handmade in India. And it is Lizzie James. It's just like that other one that was... And I think here's another one. Okay. This one's different, though. And then it has beads. The other ones are just plain with those tubes on the cords. And it says handmade in India, but Lizzie James. I have to look those up. Oh, this reminds me of, like, my grandma's lamb. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's what it reminds me of. All those little crystals that would hang down. This is tablets. It's actually pretty good. Let me unhook this. Oh. oh, I don't know if I was supposed to take that off. I don't think I was. <laughs> I think I was supposed to stay on. Is something broken? I think something's broken. I think this. 
kind of gray though. Maybe, oh, it's just the extender that's, that came off. All right, it still works as a necklace without an extender. That's kind of pretty for prom too. Very kind of, you could not hide from somebody though. It's really loud. Really, really loud. I don't know if I would keep the extender. It looks like it got bent. Hmm. I'll put it in there just in case. I might be able to fix that. Okay, here's a watch with a scratch. Let me see who it is. It's Kenneth Cole, too. But it has a little bit of a scratch right there. Pretty significant. I don't know if that would be worth putting a new battery in. Charming Charlie's watch. No, not worth it putting a battery in it. Oh, this is Banana Republic. I would love this. Probably 10 bucks. Probably make $10 on it. Um, Ann Taylor, hammered metal. I don't know if I make $15 on that. And it looks like I have two more pieces in this box. Talbots. And it's gray, grays and blacks on a gold chain. Pretty cute. I'll probably make $10 on that too. And this one is oh, J. Jill. J. Jill. Um, I can't remember how much her stuff is for. It's like amber gold tones. Really cute. Okay. So that's box one. Oh, there is one more thing right here. I don't know what this is. This is red. That's all it says. I don't know this brand. You guys probably do. Somebody on here would. It's, it just says, it just says red and has a bear. And then these little angles are, it, that's a key with the bear in it. And then this one is the bear and the dangle. I don't know. Is it a bear? Yeah, that's the bear. Or a pig. I, mean, I don't know, a rhino. Maybe it's a rhino, not a bear. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll have to research it. Okay, box number two. Oh, I almost cut myself. I almost cut away. Okay. And it says this is gold and silver and rhinestone grab bag 5.10 pounds let me see how much you pay for this one rhinestone pounds that's what makes me think of well i bid up to six i got it for 16.99 but after taxes shipping fees i paid 28.67 so that's pretty low this is a pretty good day of bidding on that one and it's a pretty decent size bag. And something new in there. Let's go through these. Oops, something fell. I don't know what. Oh, let's, oh, you know what? I had those two earrings in those and nothing came out. Remember, I had that silver earring and this one, and it was not in there. That one. I'm really sad about this one. Let's see if it will sell by itself, maybe. I'll look at the um, artist, and then if not, I'll have to scrap it. Um, this is actually signed. I normally hate stretchy bracelets, but this one is actually signed in Monet. Uh, Monet is a great vintage brand. I sell lots of it. I love that one. Um, this is um, some kind of... It, it's a clip-on, but it's a screw-back, and I've never seen one like this at all. I don't know. Feels very cheap, but I've never seen one like that. Cute dangle. Oh, it's got a hair in it. Um, this is just a stretchy bracelet, but it has pretty stones in it. It's actually really pretty. Pretty dangle. Let's see, what's this? Oh, by itself, nothing else. Don't know. Just a cross, no signature on it. There's a pen. Ow. 
Well, oh, it is signed now. It's signed Avon. Oh, my hair's like coming up there. A little butterfly with a dangle. Yeah, I'll put that down there. Got these little baby hairs. So I'm gonna have time with it. Okay, these are one of my favorite types of beads. Oh, and there's something stuck in it. I have a string of these like my from my grandmother that broke and I have to fix them still. So it's Aurora Borealis. And they just catch the light so beautifully. I love these. So three strand, really beautiful for um prom. Those will sell well. Not for high, high dollar, but still beautiful. Um, okay, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out how to get these out. This is some kind of earring. Oh, and I got the heart to come off that. Some earring. Nothing crazy. Um, this heart just came off of this chain. Um, this chain looks like it has something written on it. So it's this cute heart. Is it Druzy? No, it's Pave. Pave has Pave crystals on it. And it has, I don't know, the chain's kind of rough. But it is stamped. Let me find where I put my, ooh, oh, here it is. That's where did I put it? Okay. I wonder if it's silver. No, it's a CN, which means China. I bet you it's not worth much at all. So I'm just going to hook it so it doesn't get lost from each other. And then put it in the craft lock. Oh, another strand of Aurora Borealis. And they're graduated in size. Gorgeous. Here's oh, a matching earrings. Okay, so this is really sweet blue crystal details. And um, it reminds me of like Monet or something, but or Napier. But they are not, it doesn't appear to be signed. I don't see any signatures on them. Very cute though. Okay. Let me put that over here. I do sell rhinestone lots, so I'll we'll just put in a rhinestone lot. Love crafting lot. This just says RK. I don't know what RK is. It's like some kind of mesh chain with this rhinestone on the outside. I'll have to look up what RK is. I don't know that one. Okay, here's another rhinestone, not signed. Mm, oh, no, it is signed. It says SPBC Lind, L-I-N-D. I have to look. That's probably shortened for something. It is, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There is a signature there. It's a cute little rhinestone bracelet. Oh, it's a nice bracelet. This is not signed. Oh, wait. I lie, I lie. 925 Italy. And I think this is my lore. M-I-L-O-R. I've, I've never signed my lore, so I'll have to look it up. This is bezel set. Jewels? Crystals? We'll see. Look it up. Okay, so I've definitely already made my money back and then some. This is just plastic beads. Um, not signed, but Aurora Borealis clip on. And when you search for Aurora Borealis, you can spell it out, or a lot of people just um, use the initial AB. Um, these are not signed, but that's a cute little pearl dangle. And they're a weird clip on. It like screws in, but that are. You put that in your ear. Like, that's just weird. I feel like there's a piece missing. There might be an earring. It's like a textured earring. 
And it is not signed. And it feels like Tim. If you can hear that. Really, really okay. Oh, they're right together. These are, I, I think, Cloisonne. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Cloisonne. They are signed SG. But the Cloisonne is like that inlaid metal enamel. And I have the pair. Oh, this looks interesting. It's like a honeycomb. There's something in it though. Just like it's stuck. Come on out. Okay. Okay. How does this go? I feel like these two pieces are stuck somehow. Like twisted. Hmm. Yeah, let's see who this. It's charming, Charlie's. I should not be spending this much time on it. Cute little honeycomb though. That one is cute, but they just, they're not worth anything. Okay, here's something stuck to this. I'm gonna see if I can get them out. Um, wow, this is not signed. Um, hmm. Where can I get you out? I'll get you out in a minute. Huh. Okay, I'm looking here. I have no idea. It's like stuck. Okay, we'll come back to you. That's irritating. Irritating. Okay, this is. Um. Oh, it's got a tag like it's say a sign, but it's not. It's just an empty disc. But it's like these pave big um chain links, but with pave crystals, and it's not signed. Um. I won't put it there, but I'll put it somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> That's the back sign. I'm just going to get it rotated to the front. So it's like really lightweight. Yeah, it's definitely crafters. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Okay. This, these are kind of cute little enamel leaves. And it's not fine. No idea, that's cute though. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if you can, I don't think I've ever seen a chain like this. I don't know if you can see that in there. It like goes in and you can go this way. It's silver toned. Not silver though. I think it was actually a gold tone at one time. Oh, it says something in it. Let's see, what does it say? It says Korea. It was made in Korea. And on the inside, there was one other marking. I don't know if it said anything. Nope, it was just smuts. I don't know. Made in Korea. Very odd chain. Never seen anything like it. Okay. Um, Alfani. I don't really sell Alfani either. Um, just a cute little wraparound bracelet. Okay. I love these. These are, I have one myself and it got dented, but it's a hollow. Mine's silver. This one's not, but it's just a bracelet. This is a hinge bracelet with knots at the ends. And I don't see any kind of markings on it. And it's got wear, so it's not definitely not silver or anything. I'm just trying to find stuff that will come out loose. Oh, some kind of dangly hearts. And they're really rough. I'm just going to put them to the side. Some kind of locket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, nothing in it. Sometimes I wish there were pictures on them. Torn on the back. And no names on them. Let's see. Um... Just cut some kind of yellow chunky bracelet, but it is magnetic clasp, so that's kind of fun. Especially for people who have a hard time putting on bracelets, especially if you have long nails. Magnets work. Okay, it's a chunky, chunky, weird end to this necklace, but it's not anything. 
Oh no, so cute though. Oh, here's a match to that really tin like earring. Hi, whoever just joined. Welcome. Unsigned button earring. Let me see. I'm getting to the bottom, not the bottom. I'm trying to get where I can get some of this untangled. Oh, this one came loose. It wasn't signed, but it is really cute. I'll find it at home. I will find you at home. Oh, here's the other one of those earrings. So there wasn't supposed to be something there. Don't know. This makes me think Charming Charlie's too. This blue one, it's a um, bobble bracelet or necklace. Oh, it's not fine, but I would think. Oh, and it's missing one. It's naked there. Oh, here's a necklace, and it's not signed. So, nope. But still kind of fun, though. I like that design. Some of you like that one. Oh, I like this one. That one's cute. Oh, it's a cage cross. Um, not signed. Gosh, people, if you make something, sign it. Just sign it. Oh, almost went my soda. Oh, it's another one of those crosses. This is the second one, the blue ones. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh, and they have these, I think. Hi, Kurt. I'm almost. <laughs> Good prom necklace. Not anything signed. Oh I feel like um, no signatures. Kind of worn, but a pair. Oh, I had this one a minute ago. I didn't put it up there. Oh, I bet you that one with that neck. It did. What with this necklace? Okay, I'll put those together. Just so they'll make it somewhere. Cute little seashell. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one is signed. Oh, something's touching me. Oh, little snowflake hoop. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what it's signed. It's signed. It's really cute. I don't know if you can see that. It's like I've um, got lots of crystals in it. And it says, let me look this up. I can't read it. Oh, it has an N circled and says China. Okay, I'm going to put it in the research file, but not having high hopes. Oh, match to that earring, to that button earring. Oh, here's another earring in this thing. Oh, okay. That's cute. And this is all funny. So, so. I'll put it over there. Okay, this is just weird. Very weird. It's a bracelet and it says his queen with a pink stone. Don't know. That's weird. Oh, here's a set of earrings stuck to this bracelet or necklace. And they are not marked, but they're cute. Okay. This is Talbot's chunky choker necklace that will sell. <laughs> this is like the fifth one of these. Um, it's making me think they're from Monet, but I don't know. They look like they could have been Monet. Can't tell. Cute little flowers. Um, this is unbranded, waiting for its match. Oh my gosh, there's another one of those classes. Like, our family, our church, or youth can all have matching ones. Yes, they could. Dangle, black bezel. 
bracelet, um, no signature, multi chain. Okay, what's this one? Oh, this blue one's cute. It is Monet, and it's got the old, oh, oh, they feel like they're glass. I think they're glass, and the, even the string, even the string is blue, like that's cute. And it's got the old lobster, the old lobster class, with the, and their name is on it too. They just good, they just did good stuff. So I'll definitely sell these, a little choker. Ah, if I can get it, if I can get it back on. Okay. Um, Trafari. That's sweet and cute. Little pearl. And their stuff is faux pearl. It's not real pearl. This is, oh, I thought it was a bracelet. It's not. It is a necklace. Unsigned. That's kind of, you know what, prom? That would be cute. Very dramatic. Okay. Unsigned half hoop. Unsigned hoop. Floral etching. And little dangle. Let's see. Here's another locket, but it's got the close in A. I don't know if that's really how you pronounce it, but I think it is. Oh. It's got a speaker in it. Let's see if it works. No, womp, womp, womp. Push it in nothing. I wonder if it has a battery inside. Well, it's got some bird, uh, it's like green stuff. I don't know if you can clean that off or not. Mm hmm. It's not fine. Let's put it to the side. Okay, what is this one? This one's got a bird with, I don't know if I'm going to untangle this. I don't see any signatures, but it's got a bird and this little flower down here. Um, this looks like a saint. I'll have to ask my sister about that. Does it say what saint it is? No. This says Italy. And it looks like a saint or the Pope or something. I am not Catholic, so I'm not sure. That's the sign. Oh, here's the match of this earring. Move it over. I don't even know where to go on this pile. An icky bracelet? Or should I say beautiful? Hidden treasure. Oh, stud. Oh, what is this? Cute, but it looks like it opened. Oh, oh, let's see. It looks like a fan or a tree or something, and you open it, and it's a clock. Let's see if it says anything on it. Just this quartz, and it's upside down inside it. <laughs> Maybe that's on purpose. So when you you have it down and you pull it up, you can see it. Maybe that was on purpose. It's like a Christmas tree. It's not signed, but it's cute. I might sell that one. And it's unique. Oh, we have the whole set. Two earrings and, and the necklace of the whatever the heck that thing was. Um, okay, I'm trying to get stuff out. Um, hmm. How do I get this out? I can't even pull it up to show you. Oh, I got that part. I got that part. Got that part. Okay, let me unhook this. I can do it. Patience. So close. Oh, wait, no, that's the back side. I thought I had a jewel missing. Make sure. 
Oh, I see a little bend. It's kind of long. That right here. Oh, just bend it right back. Um, no signatures. So also, this is a um, rhinestone lot. I'm pretty sure, like some bridal or prom store will just um, buy buy those type of lots. Or maybe some little girl who just loves pretty things. Get some. I don't know. Not signed. Very different. It reminds me of Claire's. Mm, different dangle pearl. Here is just a little heart. This reminds me of the 90s when like my mom and us would have these. But they were normally real gold. I don't know if this is though. Okay, I see something with the clairs, so that won't work, but I can't even get that out. This is Napier, which is a really good vintage brand. Silver tone beads. I just all have to polish those up. They look great. Oh, the match to the Aurora Borealis. That's awesome. Claire's. Up for a minute there was a missing one. Um, let's see. I feel like I need to pull it up for you guys to see. Um, something, some. Let's see if this is anything on here right now. I don't see any signatures. It's not kind of cute. Oh, here's another Dangle Pearl, but it's different. I like that one with the little casing cap on it. Oh, oh, something's flinging off. Okay. Oh, and it's got the match. That's what it was trying to fling off. Make those up. Um, this is um, RMN. I can't remember that one. Eh, it's not very two. It says Pearl Stations. Oh, Pearl Stations. I don't think it's worth much. Okay, so now. See if I can get this out. Oh, I did, I did, I did. It signed Charming Charlie's. Charming Charlie's, it's moving over there. This, it's got like, oh, bangles. It's got like key, like a key padlock. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Padlocks, hearts, flowers. And it is signed by Charlie Charlie. So we know it there. Um, I think this is Charlie Charlie too. Yes, it is. Let me see, where is, there's something stuck to it though. Mm, I don't know what's stuck to it. Let's see, are these worth anything? Worth saving? I see, no. Um, I don't think either of them are. I'm going to move it all over there. <laughs> Another one of those. I think it's number seven. I don't know, I keep losing count. Is there a connection point? There is. And this is not signed, but it's kind of cute. It's got like little birds on it. It's like got birds and hearts and stars. No, it's really long. Like a rat bracelet out of it, maybe? I don't know. That's kind of cute. I don't know. The charms will be used for something. Oh, here's a match. That earring. Those are cute. Little bezel. Oh, here's a match to this one. Those are kind of rough though. Oh, what's this? 
I still have this like mass. Let me see if I can get this off. I get this. Weird. Oh. Oh, I has the butterfly as part of it. Okay, I can get it off. Get it. It kind of reminds me of Premier, but I don't see a Premier symbol. I don't know. Just one of those. And now, oh, there's an earring in here. Get the earring out. And um, I think I have, do I have this earring? I don't see it. Maybe I don't. Oh, but I have this one. This one's so pretty. Oh. This one seems more danglier. Something's not right on this one. So it's caught. There we go. All fixed. So pretty. Um, hmm. I don't think those are anything. This one, does it have a signet? Oh, it says something on it. Let me make sure I'm not throwing away silver. Yep, that one's silver. So I do want this one, whatever this is. Okay, let me unhook it. I think it says silver there. Yep. I don't think the, no, somebody replaced it. This is a silver chain, but they put this like cheesy thing on there. I'm taking the chain, I'll put it in my silver lot. One day I'll take it down and get it all melted. This is worth nothing, it's a stretchy bracelet. Some kind of necklace. Oh, I'm probably gonna leave it a little bit. I'm gonna take the girls out for a little bit tonight. I have two little girls. This is cute, but it's not fine. I'm gonna move over here though. It's still nice, nice. Oh, oh cute little butterfly earring. This is cute. Now I have a match. Okay, I'm down to get into the end of this tangle mass. Oh, here's just a chain. Let me see if that's silver. Um, yep, 925 Italy. Put that over there. And sometimes I find a pendant and it needs a chain, I might throw it on. Too. So I might not melt it down, but here's that yucky match earring over right there. Okay, what is this? I don't even know where the beginning is and where the end is. I don't think it matters. Oh, here's the beginning. There's no signatures, no nothing. Doesn't feel like anything. Cute stretchy bracelet for a little girl. Or a prom or something. My little girls play with this kind of things. Um, hmm. Where's that? Nothing. Not a. And I only paid twenty eight dollars for this, and I definitely one necklace will pay for the whole thing. I think those are Borealis necklaces will pay for it. And this is RMN. I can't remember who. No, wait, I take that back. This says NW. Who is NW? I can't remember. Nine West. This one is Nine West. This wire one. Oh, there's this stuff to it too. Nine West, not so big of a, not for just one necklace. It doesn't really, people don't search Nine West for necklaces. They'll look for shoes and purses maybe, but not necklaces. A little bracelet. Um, I think this is double stranded something charming Charlie's. I think moved over there. 
Um, a gold chain? It's not real gold. You can look at it. It's like very orangey. Yep. Oh, here's this match to this earring. That's a cute little match. Um, here's some kind of bee. Oh, I don't know what this is. I got a bee on here. There's a four leaf clover. A daisy. This reminds me of Betsy Johnson, kind of. It's got a big mass. A tassel. There's a signature, and it's Claire's. And it does have a Betsy Johnson. This is the only thing that was an indicator that it probably wasn't. Is the plastic. Plastic four leaf clover. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or snow. Oh, here's my snowflake hoop, little cute little hoop. Cute. Okay, we're down to the last of the bin, or the bag, I should say. Oh, here's this. I didn't look at this. It's nothing. Hey, but I think the little bag, the little one was actually a better box. These are still cute, half little. You know what? And there's another one here. I think I have three of those. No, those don't. These don't go together. These two do. They're matte, and this one's shinier. Those are there. I don't think I have a match for that other one. Oh, no, yeah, I do. Here we go. Here's this match. And then there's another one with some inlaid stones. Let's see. Here's my butterflies. Here's my seashell. Um, some kind of arrow pendant. And here's some dainty little earrings. I think that's it. I got a lot of like little like studs that hmm, no, I'll just throw them away. Oh, here's this match. Just laying over here. I have these. And there's one other one in here, but I think it's just it's like Claire's bracelet or something. Okay, that was it. So I have I had handful of like not fine, so cute. And in this box, there's about that full of stuff for me to list between the two boxes. And between the two boxes, I paid like 40 bucks. So all in all, good buy, a good, really good buy. Glad I didn't spend too much for them though, because they weren't fabulous by any means, but they were still good. Okay. Um, I think I have more coming on Think, you know, I think once on Monday, but I'm pretty sure that that was, was it. So we'll see sometime later this week. I'll have some more jewelry and we'll see how it goes. You guys have a great weekend and holiday. Bye.